So there are different types of oral ulcers. One could be stress related, which usually happens on the lip inner side of the lips. It could be trauma related. I was eating some food, a savory food, and suddenly I bit my tongue or bit my cheek. Or I was eating some sharp food and that got stuck in my cheeks and you know that just created a little bit of bruise in that area. Or it could be tobacco induced, which is one of the most dangerous forms of oral ulcers. Hello everyone and welcome back to the series, a short series on the most common dental problems. We have discussed about back breath and tooth decay in the last two episodes. Today we shall be discussing something about mouth sores, mouth ulcers or oral ulcers. So there are different types of oral ulcers. One could be stress related, which usually happens on the lip inner side of the lips. It could be trauma related. I was eating some food, a savory food, and suddenly I bit my tongue or bit my cheek. Or I was eating some sharp food and that got stuck in my cheeks and you know that just created a little bit of bruise in that area. Or it could be tobacco induced, which is one of the most dangerous forms of oral ulcers. So when you get an oral ulcer, first and foremost is we need to understand why has that oral ulcer happened. Oral ulcer could happen due to vitamin deficiencies as well. So if you are aware that, I have, that you have got an oral ulcer because of stress or because of trauma, then observe that ulcer for two weeks. It should heal within that time. If it doesn't heal in two weeks, then a biopsy is usually mandated. A non-healing ulcer greater than two weeks in the mouth which feels hard, is bleeding, may or may not be painful, could be a sign of certain sinister infections or diseases. A simple biopsy would help us rule it out or create a plan for the future. In case if you have oral ulcers, keep the area clean. You can use certain ointments which will help you eat. You can start with vitamin supplements with the advice of your physician or your dentist and observe. Oral ulcers will usually heal in 5 to 7 days. If you are getting repeated oral ulcers, that could also be a sign of dehydration. Taking frequent sips of water would also help. The best way to treat an oral ulcer at home would be using warm water adding salt to it and doing a vigorous gargle two to three times a day. This salt with warm water reduces the bacterial load in the mouth, especially the gram negative bacteria, which are supposed to be present in the ulcer cavity. This will reduce the amount of infection and thereby help body heal it. During the ulcer, you may also feel that eating is becoming difficult. Spicy or sour food would be hurting. In that case, you can use a gum paint or a dolu or a anesthesia based uh, gel with the advice of your doctor. Usually the action of these gels is hardly 15-20 minutes, but that could be good enough for you to take your meal. As discussed in the previous episodes, we spoke about how bacteria is important in terms of causing cavities or in terms of causing bad breath. Oral ulcers are also a result of this bacterial infection. Rarely do we see ulcers caused by a virus or a fungus. They do happen. Fungal, fungal infections are most commonly present on the tongue. The white thick layer on the tongue is usually a result of a fungus. Whereas the viruses would usually be present on the palate or on the upper surface of the Hope you've understood and hope you have understood this part of uh, oral ulcers and how should you manage. But it is most important if the ulcers don't heal for two weeks, then you visit your dentist. In the next episode, we will discuss something on cosmetics and aesthetics.
something on yellow teeth. Thank you.